Hey, it's Chris Burrell with Restroom Direct, and today we are going to talk about how to install the noise abatement nozzle in the accelerator hand dryer, as well as the new motor control kit. Okay, so we have a customer who really likes the accelerator, and they're concerned with the noise. So there's two things that you can do to lessen the noise in an accelerator. The first is simply to either purchase like this or replace the standard nozzle, which is a uh, 0.9 inch diameter nozzle, with the 1.1 inch diameter nozzle. That's going to spread out the, uh, the, the volume of the air as it comes out, and it's going to lessen the noise as it hits your hand. Of course, the hand dryer is going to be a little slower now, but it will also be a little quieter. Um, and then the second thing that you can do is you can install the motor control, and what that does is that enables you to actually turn the speed of the motor down. When you turn the speed down, you're going to have less air, and it's going to be um, quieter and, again, slower. Uh, but you can adjust that back up if, you, if you'd like to. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, the first thing we're going to do is just work on the nozzle, the noise control nozzle. So you take the, you can get these nozzles from Restroom Direct, by the way, and, of course, the hand dryer itself. So you get the, um, the wrench that comes with the hand dryer. If you don't have one, you can get one from Restroom Direct as well. And this is a vandal resistant or vandal proof wrench. It's got a hole in the middle that matches uh, the tab or the notch in the screw itself. So you can't just use a regular Allen wrench to open these. You need to have one of these. I've pre-loosened this, obviously, so I just pop that right off. And I've already taken the one off on the other side. So you just take the cover. This is an XLW hand dryer with a white zinc die cast cover. Take the cover off. And then this is a really easy op operation. All you've got to do is, which we've already loosened slightly as well, is pop this nozzle, a standard nozzle that comes with a hand dryer. And there are off. And there are three screws here. So it's a simple, I'm just, just using a Phillips screwdriver here. Very simple operation. The third one's a little trickier because it's closer to the center here underneath it. But anyway, that will come off for me. All right. So I got that off. Look how easy that is. And now you can see, here's the two nozzles. So the standard nozzle gives a, gives a just tremendous amount of force, which is what people really like with the accelerator. The 1.1 nozzle is a little wider, and it's just going to um, lessen the force a little bit. And all I have to do is stick this back on. Put these screws back in. And I don't think I'm even going to finish the job here because it's obvious to see how easy that is to do. I'll put the three screws back in, I'll put the cover back on, tighten it up. Well, I have a uh, hand dryer that does not make quite as much noise and is a little bit slower. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll put the, uh, the motor control kit on and we'll do that in the next video.